Hi folks, it is Wednesday, August 27th, day 88 of my birthday quest, and today's birthday quest theme is going out to my buddy Thomas. Thomas is a conductor I first met when he auditioned at Indiana University at the same time I was heading off to Juilliard. Very rarely does one get to spend enough time with a colleague over the course of enough years to see them at so many important stages of their growth, but that's really the case with me and Thomas. First, a little side story for some background. Conducting auditions at colleges kind of suck for the candidate. Leaving aside the big picture issues and problems with college conducting programs in general, when you show up to audition for a conducting program at a college, it never happens during an audition week. So there's no big banner, no welcome table, no welcome packet. Nobody knows you're supposed to be there. <laughs> I auditioned at three master's programs that had multiple auditionees on the same day, and I couldn't believe how grumpy and snooty these other candidates were. At my Indiana audition, there was one guy walking around the hallway conducting to himself, and this other person was like, oh, well, I studied with so-and-so all last year, my senior year, and I did this workshop. Well, he got up and he sucked. Then somebody else asked me, so where did you apply? And I told them I applied to the Cleveland Institute of Music in Indiana. And this person replies, well, doesn't Cleveland invite everybody who applies there? <laughs> really? So ever since I started grad work in Indiana, I've always been the unofficial welcoming committee to these incoming auditionees. Getting back to Thomas, Thomas was the good buddy of a good buddy of mine who called me and said, hey Vince, Thomas is coming by to audition, please take care of him. Unfortunately, that audition day was one of my many 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. straight book days where I didn't even have time to eat. But while speed walking from giving hearings in the old building to going to a rehearsal in the library building, I saw Thomas in Klaus's lounge and had about 60 seconds to say hello and welcome him to IU. The next time we saw each other was the beginning of his second semester at IU when I was paying a one-week visit from New York. He was green, but growing, and all the right tools were absolutely there. That following summer, we got the chance to finally become colleagues as we were both at the same summer music workshop. We reunited again just a few years later when he was doing his doctorate at Cincinnati and I was with the symphony. My third year there, he became the CCM conducting assistant to the symphony, and the last time I saw him conduct live and in person was a brilliant production of Falstaff. It has been so great to see him at all these vital points of his conducting growth, starting really at the very beginning when he first started his master's degree at IU. For Thomas's birthday quest theme, I had the sound of an upbeat hard rock groove in my head. Then I used two quotes from one of the greatest character ensemble opera scenes in history to help build the theme. As always, both musical quotes are played in the original keys that they were written, but their rhythm and surrounding harmonies are different. If you're looking to see what those quotes are, check the information section below the video on the YouTube page. Happy birthday, Thomas. I hope that you're doing well. Continue to make awesome, crazy music, and I hope you enjoy your birthday quest theme.